Today's comment of the award goes to Luca Gannaro who left this amazing comment and this is the vein this is why I love making YouTube videos to have a connection like this with you guys is amazing he says hey Tom I've been subscribed to my channel to your channel since you were at 7k and it's amazing feeling to see the development in every new video you make you keep and everything fresh and entertaining and you put the biggest smile on my face when I'm down. Before you, I didn't know anything about football, and now you have made me love the game and turned me into a Liverpool supporter. Thank you for everything you have done for your channel and me, your friend from Canada. Oh man, this makes me emotional, guys. It's just amazing that I can have this sort of impact on somebody else's life who watches all the way from Canada. So thank you so much to all your support and I will keep her working as hard as I can to make the videos even better in the future. Enjoy today's episode. I'm sorry that there is no press conference for this episode, but I'm going to play a five-a-side football game in just an hour, so I need to finish this episode quick. In tomorrow's episode, I will definitely do a press conference 100%. What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Career Road Show with a brand new episode. You guys have smashed the likes on yesterday's episode, thank you so much for your awesome support. So I will keep uploading daily. As you can see, almost all of the big teams are already out of the League Cup, only Tottenham are in. This is a big, big chance and I'm trusting the young players again to show me that they are good enough. McDonald is an up-and-coming defensive midfielder, watch out for him because he's an absolute beast, only 72 rated but he's very big, strong and he can pass the ball well. No, 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 what a goal. Oh wow, Jack Kobach basically scuffs his shot and somehow it loops into the top corner, it's a brilliant finish, I can't fold the goalkeeper. You can do the defender. Oh! Uh, what a mistake. Cortez oh, could save me. I'm bringing off McDonald and Sane at half time because they didn't really impress me. I'm bringing on Bazur and Origi and I think I will sell Sane in the January transfer window because he's just not really very good. And Joe Allen comes on for Newcastle. Wow! Come on. Come on. Bazoor! Oh! Richard Le Bazoor! Oh my, what a hit son! Instant impact from the two substitutions, Origi to Bazoor, and that is... Wow, what a strike! Get him, Bazoor! Boom! <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh, Lane! Oh, Lane! <laughs> oh, wow, the fullback! Oh, Bazoor. Brilliant. Ah, oh, yes, Origi. Come on, you can go in. You can go in, Origi! And Nunez, what is that finish? Terrible. Oh my god, one bad pass and they are in. Vinado. No. Yes, Matip. Come on, Origi. Come on, Origi. Surely you can win it. Yes. Oh, what a scrappy, ugly rebound goal. But I will take it. And Origi scores another winner in the 90th minute, just like in the previous episode. Yes, Origi. Yes, boys. The cup run is alive. And I'm, I'm very happy with the substitutions I make. They changed the game. The young players played really well and I think we dominated more chances, more shots on target, more possession and Origi of course was man of the match. One goal and one assist. He's doing work. Southampton lost to Stoke so another big team are out and West Ham are also out. They lost to Tottenham, Everton are through. Let's hope that we avoid those teams and we get Rotherham in the quarterfinals this is why i wanted to win that newcastle game so much because basically now unless a disaster happens we should be through to the semi-finals of the league cup and then we are just uh, two games away from the final and as you can see we are 
four points clear of Chelsea. I would love to play the Youth Academy and the Regen players in every game, but I don't want to upset, uh, you know, my first team because the, they will be very important in the bigger games. So I will play the youth players again in the next game in the Champions League. We are in a good position in, in that as well. So yeah, this will be my team. As you can see, it's a very strong lineup. Dybala is still out injured. So I'm starting Origi. He's on a goal scoring train. Let's hope he continues in this one. Oh, this is nice. That's it. And oh, a pen. That is a pen. No, oh my word, ha, <laughs> they missed it, ooh, and Zogbia, oh my god, Origi, what a run, Isco, bang it, oh, Isco, Disco, joins the party again, and Isco and the Götze are such great attacking midfielders, they have the finish, what a goal, come on, oh, Quincy, we see to make it 2-0. That's an own goal, isn't it? I think that's an own goal. Oh my word. Let's watch the air. Yeah. Oh, what is that defender doing? He tries to control a shot instead of clearing it. But you know I will try it with Royce. You know I will try it with Royce. Come on, son. Bang. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, that was going in, guys. Again, they leave Quincy wide open and he absolutely leathered it. I just smashed it into the near post top corner. No goalkeeper is saving that. Fantastic shot by Quincy. Wow. Oh, thank you. Come on, good set. Origi! Oh! <laughs> Everything we touch turns to gold in this game. What a save by the goalie, but Origi has the power to loop it over the goalie that header and into the back of the net. I'm bringing on Johansson, Shobumi and Fiatta for the tired player. No. Oh, that's fantastic play. No, Braff White! Ah, oh, there goes the clean sheet. Oh, that is so annoying, goal to concede. I was just late in the tackle. What a victory! Fantastic! And I had a feeling that Origi will score today again. So now he has two goals in two games. Just brilliant. And we completely dominated the game. Scored four goals. One of our best victories of the season. Oh my days! Chelsea actually lost! So we extended our lead to a lot of points, which means that even in the Premier League we can play a lot of the Youth Academy and the Regen players. And in the Champions League, as you can see below me, uh, sorry, as you can see above me, we are level on points with Schalke. Again, I'm switching the formation just to keep things fresh. Origi starts up front because he is in absolutely amazing form. Origi. Oh, nice. Nice. Sonny, please! Oh, no way! How did he say that? I'm loving this. Origi. Bang! Oh, oh my god. I took out my own player. Okay, 34 yards. I know it's a very, very far out. But yeah, let's try it. Why not? Johansson. Bang! Actually, that was very good. Keeper. That's yours all day. Oh my god, shovel me! Please, shovel me! Oh, that was fantastic. So I'm bringing on Bazur, Firmino and Quincy for the last 15 minutes. Let's hope I can win the game. Come on. Come on, friend again. Please! He saved it! No, no way. Oh, that is stunning. Come on! Come on! Oh my god! I think I played really well in this game as, as well, but I just couldn't break down the Rubin Kazan goalkeeper. I mean, look at the domination. 10 shots, 
61% possession. They only had two shots. Schalke played out a 2-2 draw against Porto, so nothing changed really in the group. And unless a major disaster happens, we are already through. But I want to win the group. Because in the other groups, as you could see, that there are some big teams in first place. Bayern in this one. Ooh, Barcelona could be second in this one. I don't think so. I think they will they will finish first in the end. And this group is very tight. Dortmund, Man United and Valencia all can go through. Paris Saint-Germain will probably win this group. So And Chelsea as well in this one. Juventus, I want to avoid these kind of teams. So I will try my best to finish first in the Champions League. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool career world episode. If you did, leave a like. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Goodbye.